In today's video, we are going full send with the driver and all the other big sticks. We're going to try our best and see if we can take it to the limit and to see what the results are going to be. We're going to play nine holes around one of the courses here at my home club and we're going to see how we get on. So without further ado, this is Nick Does Golf. Uh -uh. Hey golfers and welcome back to another video here on my channel Nick Does Golf. It's great to have you here for this one. Today we are going full send with every club. We're going to be really aggressive and we're going to see what difference it makes to my scores when playing nine holes. So when I mean playing aggressive, I mean playing aggressive. So not just taking driver, but hitting that driver really, really hard. For me, I would probably say that I hit my shots about 80% of what I could. But with the modern day, I really want to try and test myself and see if I've got the capabilities. Now I've been hitting the gym, of course, and to see if I can crank it up with that club head speed and see if it makes a difference to the results that I'm getting. So should we get stuck in? Yeah, let's go. So the first hole is just under 400 yards. Driver's coming out. Let's rip it. So I've got 68 yards into the first hole. Normally, I'm probably about 30, 40 yards behind it. I stepped on that one. Okay, it is a little bit downwind, but still I've got a hell of a lot less into this flag. Let's see if we can capitalize. Not bad. Well, hey, would you look at that? So, birdie on the first hole. Really pleased with that. Let's keep it going. Hole number two on its way. So, a little bit jumpy with that one. Pulled it left, but I think that was more to do with the fact that I had a lot to carry. So I've pulled it back online and just hope that I haven't run out of fairway. So nearly made it into the Bundai, but got a shorter shot in than I normally would. I'd probably take about four iron off this tee. So I'm in an advanced position. I'd say what, about 130 yards in. Let's give it a go. Ah, so it looks like I've got a bit of tree trouble. I'm gonna have to try and gouge this and swing a little bit round and try and bend this back onto the target. So just short the green, had to gouge it out a little bit. Not brilliant, to be honest. So a lot of work to be done after that. That wasn't the greatest shot out of that trouble. So I'm really, Gonna have to try and get this one as close as possible. Let's see what I can do. Ah, a little bit hard. Just outside right. Let's see. Ah, so bogey there, back to level par. 
Next one up is a dog leg left, 90 degrees. I always lose my ball on this one. I could hit the perfect shot in my mind. I could actually execute it, but it never seems to be findable. Hopefully, just by me smacking this, somehow I'm gonna get down there and find my ball. If not, the ball is in the abyss. Before I hit, I'm gonna show you on the Hello Birdie app exactly how far away that dog leg is and how much I need to carry it. So normally I hit a four iron to the corner, but with today's line, we are taking it over the farmer's field and I need to be able to carry it 290 to get over the trees. Let's see if I can pull this off. Oh dear, that was very, very silly. So we've got 92 yards in, I've got a lot of work to do, I need to get this really close and get out of here. Have a goose at this. Oh yes, how about that for a save? It's not the most conventional route, but got the job done, got a par, so I'll take that any day. Now we've got a par three, so obviously it's not really gonna affect this. I'm just gonna play my normal sort of thing with this. Try and get it in the centre of the green. It's quite a tricky one today. The flag's benign, but there's a lot of wind up there. Let's see if we can knock one into the middle of the green and hold up. Oh, an awful putt. So on that green I was absolutely awful. Just a nice steady par really. It was, it was shocking but onwards and upwards we're still level par somehow. I've got par five to come. It gets really really tight about where the driver is about to carry. So I've got to hit this one perfect. I think, but I'm not sure, I think that is position A. So that was absolutely smoking. I've managed to find the pocket. Didn't manage to find the fairway, but have you seen how wide it is? It's about 10 yards wide. Catch my drift. But anyways, we're just in the rough on the left and I've got a nice shot in, roughly about 2.30 into the flag. Hopefully I can get it on the dance floor and then I can hold the eagle. Pulled it in the bunker. Yeah. That's a fried egg or what? Not brilliant, scampered through the bunker and I finished 
on top of the mound, which is going to leave me with a nice shot in. Let's see if we can capitalise. That is all over it. Another par, so this means that I'm level par still for the round. But three holes left. I'm going to see if I can whiz through these for you, and I'm going to give it my all on every single one. Starting with this one right here. So I've made an absolute rookie error, and my phone battery is about to die. So I think I'll be able to get this seventh hole in, and then I'm going to have to call it a day. But at least you managed to see a lot of the things that happen when you go full out with the golf shots so let's see how we get on with the seventh hole and we'll finish right there that was smoke <laughs> oh what a bounce not So I'm back at the car now, that was a lovely little finish with that birdie on the last. Good putt, dead weight really. Uh, so I finished one under for those seven holes. Unfortunately I couldn't get the last two holes filmed because my battery is literally about to die. But in summary, trying to hit the ball further, yes it, it can be really good. It certainly takes your mind away from lots of different things in terms of golf technique. Um, lots of different things going throughout your backswing and your downswing. So it does take that away from it. In terms of your control, it does depend on uh, how quick your hand speed is, your body turn, etc. If these can work together, then brilliant. Um, but your control is really going to be uh, decreased a little bit by you trying to really hit that ball as hard as possible. So there's pros and there's cons to it. See what works best for you. If you feel like you can rip it, then absolutely go for it. If you can't and you prefer that control, then go with that. But by all means, do what works for you. It's certainly going to help your golf. So if you enjoyed that video, hit the like button, ding, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to know. Also, if you haven't already, hit that big red subscribe button. Help me grow on this great platform and make sure you check out some of my other social media as well. Thanks so much for watching and see you all on the next one.